Tubela Saubona. Guten Tag, Goeie Dag, and Good Day. Welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. Today I'm at Follicle Hay Atelier with 1813 for a simmering taste of a champagne Saturday. Now for those of you who are confused about 1813, I'm not actually talking about the year when the Dead Sea was still sick, but about the prestigious boutique wine shop. Festive, bubbly, um, my favorite drink. Wow, the first word that comes to mind would be Freddie Mercury. Just because, you know, um, I love his music and also he was, he was a firm believer in having breakfast for champagne. I mean champagne for breakfast. Glamour, glamour, nice dresses, nice hair and just a nice glamorous evening. All right, so the name 1813, where, what does it mean and where does the name come from? It's the maximum temperatures at which you should drink red and white wine respectively. Now people say you should drink red wine at room temperature, but it's room temperature in a chateau in France in December, which is never warmer than 18. So not uh, Pretoria in summer at 34. <laughs> no. So chill your red wine to, until it gets to 18 degrees. What would you say was the motivation behind the wine and events of 1813, the concept? Uh, if you consider that there are more than 990 different winemakers in South Africa making wow. 7,600 different individual wines, uh, it's impossible for any one person to even try and get to all the wines. So we thought with 1813 what we want to do is um, scour the winelands to find those hidden gems so that we can bring it to the wine lovers of Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal so that they can also share in those perfect uh, nice wines that, that we don't know about. And you already cover events from corporate events to food and wine pairing and obviously Champagne Saturdays. Where do you see 1813 in five years time? Um, hopefully, with a presence like this particular shop in many uh, upmarket shopping centers, also with our wine circle where people uh, join the wine circle and they get uh, six wines delivered to their front door every, every month, so that we have many of those uh, customers around the, the, the country that get some selected 1813 wines every month. Now, Walter. Champagne is normally seen as a symbol of celebration, right? What would you say is the biggest celebration at today's Champagne Saturday? For me, I think it's definitely a celebration of companies aligning themselves and creating something new, something exciting. As you all know, Follicle loves pushing the envelope. We love trying new things. Not everything we do works, um, but this is something that we believe in will work. Um, and I think it's just a celebration to give our clients back. Uh, you know, come visit Follicle. We've always been out there and we've always like believed that it must be a wonderful environment for you to come to us, feel at home. So why not celebrate that with some champagne? The heights that Follicle has achieved thus far with Mark Maynit and yeah. just the films that you're involved in, where do you see Follicle in five years' time? You know what, it's been such an amazing journey the last four years. I mean, we've achieved things that we didn't even think were possible. Um, and so definitely, um, guys, I don't know, it's just the sky's the limit for us at this stage. Um, I think what is important for us, no matter what we achieve, is to always stay true to ourselves, stay grounded, and um, yeah, and form good alliances with people. So I don't know, watch the space, the sky's the limit, that's all I can say at this stage. Now, being involved with Follicle and Strands of Love, can you tell mm. the viewers more about Strands of Love and some of the people who you work with? Definitely. Um, we've been now uh, working together with Follicle Hair for quite a while. Um, working on movie sets, working on photo shoots, working with their brand ambassadors. Strands of Love, obviously, we specialize in tape extensions. We do have the other, you know, the other bonding types. Um, but we work with a lot of people in the industry. We work with Colleen van Jarsveld, we work with Leanne Dirant, um, Donna Lee, we worked on a, a bunch of movies. Now, um, we recently signed Amor, she's now with us as well. So we really work with amazing people, amazing brand ambassadors wearing our hair. Um, yes, that's no. about it. 
Now, seeing that we're at a Champagne Saturday of 18, 13, yeah. can you maybe tell us a story of when you were 18 or 13 years old? Um, let's skip to 18. 18 was the time I think I was a very confused stage in my life, but I knew I wanted to be a career woman. I knew I wanted to go in an industry where um, you work with amazing people. I wanted to be my own boss. And um, yes, and I think with God's grace, that is where I ended up being. 18 as well, I think it's such a beautiful age. It's such a, it's such a nice age where you can really go and figure out your life and figure out where you want to be in life. Mm -hmm. And without the heavy responsibilities of the world, you still have your parents looking after you. All right, with Mrs. Monique Stoffberg, what was your impression of today? With an innovative team like Follicle, this day was absolutely champagne -gories. Big word. Like in fantasmagories, just champagne -gories. Fabulous. It's a team that's with it, knows what the youth of today wants, um, what appeals to the people. Um, yeah. Ferdinand, you and Yoni are perceived as a power couple, always with a couple of projects running. What is the next big challenge you are taking on? The next big one, I would say, we've got a couple, as you mentioned. Um, the next big one would be um, BPSE. It's our Broadway performance showcase experience. It's a two-week musical theater Broadway workshop that, we, that culminates into a production show at the end of it in a theater with lights, costume, and, and all of it. Then we've got a couple of film productions uh, coming up. We have um, a Kingdom project that uh, that's very dear to our hearts and uh, you know and then also we have the hashtag scars project still carrying on um, new life has been breathed into it so um, I'm very excited for the upcoming next few months of the year so yeah and we're very excited to have Follicle as part of our BPSE project for the second year running. And we know we're going to have very amazing hairstyles and makeup images and a lot of themes going on this year with our Swing, Swing, Swing performances on the 1st and 2nd of April because we're going 1920s Gatsby inspired and it's going to be really exciting. So we hope to see you there. It's going to be at UJ. Well, I'm very excited to see it. I will swing, swing, swing by. <laughs> One last question, um, both being Follicle brand ambassadors, how would you describe the Follicle experience? Excellence. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Definitely excellence. Nothing half measure, always everything champagne perfect. And we're so excited to see what their new project's gonna hold and that we can have champagne while we do our hair, maybe for breakfast as well. Now today we're at a Champagne Saturday with 1813. Can you think of a story when you were 18 years old or 13 years old? Well, 13, not so much, but 18, I was in Stellenbosch, my first year studying drama. Very unsure, walking into that university, this little first year. But then I met the most amazing people in the acting industry. I had class with people like Antoinette Kellerman, Susan Bayer, Nicole Hollem, Martinez Basson. Just mind-blowing. As an actress, what is the next project or projects that you will be taking on? Okay, so this year we are still running with People Are Living There, which was a huge success in 2015. It's got an amazing cast and crew. The director is André Oedendal with Anna Maart van der Merwe and Karel Nell and François Jacobs. And we are touring with that. We're going to a few festivals and also we're looking into going to Japan to the Fugard Festival. Yes, and um, then High Spotted Days is a home and garden show which I'm the presenter of. It was running on the um, ISDF here, which is on the OVHD in South South Dakota. And we're looking to take it to Cake Net this year, so thumbs up. That's incredible, yes. wow. Yes. She's <laughs> just not a figure skater yet. No. Just, just not. 
finger skating, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, one, as a follicle brand ambassador, yes. how would you describe the follicle experience? It's been so great. Um, it's really like a family. And I know it sounds cliche, but really, we've, we are just like one big family. When you enter, they really make you feel at home and you're welcome and you look great leaving. That's the most important. Yes. yes. Follicle, <laughs> your friendicle and hair care. Yes. All right, guys, so there you have it for today's episode with 1813 at Follicle Hair Atelier. Be sure to check them out on social media platforms and don't hesitate to phone them for team building, wine tasting, wine pairing, internal and external events. Thank you for tuning in and until next time. <laughs>